Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a quick tutorial and review of the Arsali Beauty La Katrina palette. It's super pretty. So if you want to see how I got this look and my thoughts on the palette, then just keep on watching. Alright, so let's just jump right in. So here is the palette super cute packaging and again this is the La Katrina palette from Araceli and let's get it out Ooh, see I always rip the packaging when I try to get it out let me know if you have that same problem I don't know if it's just me but it's always difficult for me to get it out oh cute so here is what it looks like I love it. Ooh, let me pull this guy out. And of course it has the mirror. But look at those colors. So pretty. And this actually came out as part of um, Dia de los Muertos. And yeah. And that's what it says right on the top up here. Super cute. Oh, I love all these colors. I don't know what I'm going to do today. I'm probably going to keep it simple. I just want to play around with a couple colors. But we have Pan, which is so cute. By the way, I just made Pan Dulce for the first time ever. And they actually turned out pretty good. By the way, I, I don't speak Spanish and I don't do Spanish cooking but I like to learn and I was happy with myself but yeah so this one is named Pan and then this one Ofrenda sorry if I'm butchering it I don't speak Spanish next one Cantorito Cantorito I know that sounds so gringa like they say uh Marigold uh Picado and Hamaika, Hamaika, I think Hamaika. And I only know that because I like to drink Hamaika and it's so good. Okay, so I've already primed my eyes. I haven't done anything else. I'm bare faced and looking crazy. But let's just go ahead and set my primer. I just use MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I'm just gonna go in with Pan and just set everything on my eyelid. My brows are looking a little crazy too. And you always wanna set whatever primer you're using just so everything blends nicely. Man, this lighting in here. I have a new ring light and we'll see if I like it or not. But yeah, so there's that. And then I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and go and with the color Can't Torito. I don't know why I'm saying it like Dorito. Like, what the hell? And I'm putting that in my crease. Nothing precise. I'm actually about to head to Target after this, so don't want anything too crazy. Blend, blend, blend. So, how was your guys' holiday? Today it's a couple days after Christmas. We enjoyed it with our family and had really good food but you know with COVID it's messing up everything. The vaccines came out. Are you guys going to take the vaccine? I know I'm not. I'm just going to wait and see what happens with everyone else taking it. I feel like it's too new at this point. And as long as you're doing social distancing, washing your hands, you know, staying safe, then you should be good. Mm, that color is so pretty. And I'm just going to deepen it up a little bit more. You like my little fire going on in the background? <laughs> That's just a YouTube video. And it's so relaxing. I like to put it on my TV while I'm cleaning. And it's just nice because I don't have a fireplace so I fake it okay so there's that and I think I'm just gonna go with Ofrenda right here and put that all over my lid and I think I want to spray my brush with some fix plus 
this just makes the color bam, boom, whatever, pop, you know, look better. Oh yeah, look at that. And just put this on my lid. Super pretty. I don't know if you guys can tell or if my camera is picking it up. I really need a new camera. So pretty. I hope the camera is picking it up. Okay, now I'm just going to go into Hamica and deepen out my B. Just a little bit. Outer corner. V. Whatever. Do it's like right here, but yeah, this one is nice dimension compared to this one. So now just do the same thing on the other side, pat it, and it'll deepen it up and just give the look dimension. And it's okay if it gets messy on the outside part because you can just clean it up because we haven't done our face yet. These colors are so pretty and they blend super nice. What do you guys think so far? That's pretty much it for the eyes. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, I'm about to go to Target so simple look and it kind of matches my shirt a little bit. And this is Let's Stay Home. My cousin gave me the shirt for Christmas and it's so true. Let's stay home, please. He's not about to go to Target. Okay, so that's it for the palette. I love this palette, but I love all of their palettes. Let me show you. I did another tutorial using the Jalisco eyes, and look at this palette. Like, I use and abuse this palette, especially this color here, which is Sombrero. They definitely need to come out with, like, a single pan shade, because I use this every day my go-to palette so if you want to check out that tutorial I'll have it linked down below and I also have their other palette the Azteca Eyes I believe it's called and I love that palette too so these are just the perfect size ah, I just love them it has to be one of my favorites for sure okay so now I'm going to do my face real quick my brows and then we'll finish up the eye look I'll be right back all right, so I am back putting on the rest of my face and wow, what a difference it makes. You gotta do it all to look presentable. And sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder because it's above me, but I need to look at you guys. See. Okay, so now let's just finish up the eyes. So I'm gonna go back in with the palette with a small brush which I just had in front of me and now I don't see it oh here it is and I'm going to take the color I can't even say it. I keep wanting to say something else Cantorito Cantorito and just smoke out my bottom lash line with that color it's super pretty and it just adds you know, a little something something to your eye look. It's super pretty. I just said that, but it really is. Super easy eye look. I'm pretty much done with it. I'm just going to pop on some mascara on my lower lash line now. And then, of course, we are going to pop on some lashes. makes all the difference and I'm using the essence the false lashes today for my mascara all right and now I'm gonna pop on my miss pink lash adhesive I'm telling you using a lash adhesive is the way to go when you're using false lashes I love it and it makes it so easy so literally, you're just going to draw a line and then, boop, stick your lashes. And this one you can get on their website. And there's no waiting. You literally put it on and you can stick it. It's amazing. I lost the light. Oh, here it is. I'm just 
losing everything or I'm blind. Well, I am that too, but. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Choi lashes. These are my favorite lashes from our Sally. And just pop them on and then we'll be done with the look. Super easy, but I just love their palette. So I knew I was gonna love this one as well. I don't know why I'm about to blow on it. When there's no glue, oh my gosh, habit. And literally, that's it. Focus. Like, that's it. It's so easy. Oh my gosh, I love these lashes. Look at them. They make the look. Oh, I just love these lashes so much. Y'all, get these. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. These are probably like my top top five favorite eyelashes like seriously i always have trouble doing my left side for some reason i just feel like it's an awkward angle but with this adhesive it makes it easy perfect do you see how easy that was oh my gosh oh, i just love it lashes just change the game i'm telling you when i don't wear lashes i'm like mm. but when i put them on i'm like oh okay there she is yes but yes so this is the final look using the la katrina palette and i love it beautiful i'm gonna be using this palette more i want to dip into these colors right here and have some fun i mean really i could have put picado at the bottom the blue color and smoked it out and been cute but yeah i love this palette so highly highly recommend well recommend anything from this brand because the sponge is life i'm telling you i love this sponge and now I'm going to do my lip color. So this is my tried and true dose of colors, a mob story. And I just love this. This is a perfect everyday color. And since we gotta wear masks all the time, it does not transfer. And it goes pretty much with any look. Or should I say it doesn't transfer much? Like thinking about it, I'm like, wait, this isn't like completely transfer proof but it has a long staying power and there you have it what do you guys think I love it I love it I love it okay now I am off to Target but let me know what you guys think of the look down below if you use this palette what you guys think and yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe turn on your post notifications so that way you'll know when i upload next and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys